Will you execute Lord Raglan's orders, my lord? I am waiting. Captain uh, Nolan, I say if you look before you, you will see neither enemy nor guns. The usefulness of such an order eludes me. The position, I assure you, is quite clear from where Lord Raglan stands. Is it? Is it? Is it? It is! Lord Raglan's orders are that the cavalry should attack immediately! Attack, sir! Attack, attack, attack! Attack what? Attack where? Guns, Mr. Nolan! There! There, my lord! There is your enemy! There are your guns! Lord Gardigan, you advance steadily. Keep your men well in hand. If the brigade is handled with control, there should be no useless or unnecessary loss. <coughs> Certainly, sir. But allow me to point out to you that the Russians have guns in the valley and batteries and riflemen on each flank. It is contrary to all practice of war for cavalry to charge artillery from the front. You are quite right, sir. But uh, what choice have you? We're going, dear friend. Permission to ride with the 17th. Permission granted, dear friend. Douglas! Colonel Douglas! I expect your best support. You shall have it, my lord. Mine, Douglas. Your best support. last. Well, here goes the last of the Brudenals. The brigade will advance, drop it up. Walk! What's the matter with Cardigan? Outflank those guns now, damn you! Not charge them! He's turning into the wrong valley! Now, 
Navadi! 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 Ognia!
don't know. I don't know. It isn't done. Will be, dear, will be. Coming on like a soldier. <laughs> Skirmishers indeed. That is the life brigade. An Englishman? Yes, old chap. You've been wounded by a cut across your eye which has blinded you. Am I in pain? You are in pain, I believe. Well, sir. Well, sir? Well, what, sir? I will break him. How dare he to ride before a general in brigade like that? Did you hear the creature? Shrieking like some tight girl, like a woman fetching off, damn him!